Yep, healthy. What does that do for you going into this game of this magnitude? Um, just allows me a chance to to play how I know how to play and get my team uh, my my best. Marvin said before the season, one of his goals was obviously beat the team up north, win the Big Ten championship. What does this game in particular mean to you? Um, everything. This is the only game you have to win at Ohio State. So, you know, we're ultra locked in, ultra focused. Was last week the first time you felt fully healthy, like you had all your explosives back? Um, I keep getting better and better um, each week. So, um, I feel like, you know, last week was the best I felt, and I feel like I'm going to continue to I'm gonna feel better this week too, so. Mac, what stands out about Mike Sanders still and the matchup between you two that you've seen Um, I don't have too much to comment about in terms of their players, but I know that um, we're going to go in with a great game plan. Um, we're going to work our tails off this week, and we're going to do our best um, and fully trust in the coach's game plan and whatever plays are being called. I have full trust in the guy over there who's doing his interview. So, um, you know, we're going to go in and, and, you know, give it a, a good shot. Mecca, for those of you guys that got it in 2020, 2021, and don't have gold pants, when I just say that out loud, how does that sit with you? How much of a motivating factor is that that you guys haven't done that yet? Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, obviously, everyone in my class, um, we feel like we can't, you know, leave here without gold pants. So, um, yeah. Well, looking at it right now, the game, or it's Tuesday right now. The game's on Saturday. So you got to, you know, try not to spiral out of control too soon. Um, it's a slow build um, until, until the ball hits the foot and you can kind of let everything go at that point. So um, we're going to work on staying locked in and staying focused this week to make sure we put our best foot forward on Saturday. This game is part of something you guys do every day. You know, talk about preparing for this game every day. Yeah, you still have to be focused on the the first eleven opponents each week. How, how, how's, how's the coaching staff help you guys navigate that to be thinking about both, but yeah. not let the one influence the other? Yeah, I mean we know what's what's coming at the end of the season every single year, um, so that's always in the back of our mind. But um, you know you have to have ultra ultra focus on whoever your opponent is that week because they're going to be the most important person you play that week since they're the only person you play. So getting that win um, each and every week and, you know, focusing on that opponent is something that's super important. But like I said, you know who you're playing at the end of the year every year. Is it hard not to look ahead at all the last couple weeks, or is that something that they do so well to keep you guys focused that way that it's not that big of a struggle? Um, The closer it gets, the harder it can be. Um, But I feel like we handled Minnesota the way we should have, and we put our best foot forward there. Um, but we are quickly off of Minnesota and, and on to the team up north. <clears throat> yeah, um, we know we have something special here in Columbus. And we have a chance to do something special. Um, we're not focused at all, on, at all on what team of north is doing or what they have done. Um, we're just fully focused on what we're able to accomplish here. Along the same lines as one of Cameron's previous questions, can you get into just how, how important it is for you guys to keep your composure in a game like this where there's so much chirping? And you don't want to be that guy who's the second guy who kind of gets caught. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how important is that in a game? Yeah, I mean, stupid penalties can really hurt you in, in big matchup games like these ones. Um, there will be, you know, you'll have all the time in the world to let your emotions fly after, after all the – the whistles are blown and after the score settled and all that type of stuff. So keeping your emotions in check is huge. You talk about you know kind of tempering your your emotions at least at this point right now. Is there still a little bit different of a feeling going into this game as opposed to when you were a freshman, a youngster coming in? Yeah, um, it kind of takes some. Kind of got to experience it to know what the rivalry is like. Um, and now that I've experienced it firsthand. Uh, you know, just with more experience and more um, being able to play Tim North more, you know what it means to this university. Um, it starts to mean something special to you as well. So um, the longer I've been here, you know, the more and more um, I feel myself 
Um, you know, kind of just my blood getting hot before this rivalry. How much has the two big games you guys have played in the U.S. as a team? As a team, how much does that experience help? I know this is a different level, but how much does that help you guys? Yeah. Especially on the road, how do that Yeah, when you play hard games, you kind of learn how to win in tough environments, um, especially Notre Dame since it's a, it was a way game. So um, you kind of learn you know, what, what what it takes to win in those type of environments and what you have to do as a team. Um, and even, you know, when it's a close game like, like that, you know, no one says it has to be close this weekend, but it probably is going to be. Um, that's the way it always ends up. So, um, yeah, it just teaches you how to win in those scenarios. Yeah, Matt, Matt, I just woke up here, but so you probably already answered how you're feeling. <coughs> what is it like to be out there? What was it like to be out there Saturday in the last couple of weeks with all of the primary weapons for this offense on the field at the same time for one of the few times really this year. What what are you sensing that's different when y'all are all out there? Yeah, I just feel like we're a really explosive unit overall. Um, I don't think there's no secret in that. We have great weapons all over all over the field and just um, expanding those weapons to Kyle um, and getting him to have, you know, a pick of a, a pick of who he wants to throw the ball to or hand the ball to. Um, it's kind of hard for defenses to game plan. So um, trying our best to make sure everyone's healthy this week. This is a big one. Yeah, and Trevion especially, what does he add to the bench? You know, you receivers, plus K, everybody knows what y'all are about. What does, what does a healthy Trevion add to the mix from your view? Yeah, uh, Travion, I feel like he's the most exp explosive back in the nation. Um, you guys have really seen his speed over this last couple of weeks. I think he's have a, had a play of like 70 yards every single week since he's been back. So um, it's something that you really have to game plan for. Um, but you also can't, you know, slight anybody on the outside because if you drop that extra safety in the box to handle Travion, um, then it allows us a chance and an opportunity down the field. Um, just experience overall. Um, it's not really easy to grasp. It's just something that you can feel um, and something that the offense has felt as a team. He's just accumulating more experience, and it's been really beneficial for him. Okay, how much respect is there between uh, the players? In this yeah, I mean, it's a rivalry. So um, it's a rivalry for a reason. You know, you don't have rivalries with, you know, teams that you don't respect or teams that, you know, you blow out every single year. Um, so, yeah. In terms of communication in a hostile environment that you're going to be going up against, how are you guys practicing and prepping for this weekend? Um, yeah, we know that it's going to be a hostile environment and that, you know, you might it might be loud and rowdy and you might not be able to hear um, the cadence of the quarterback and all that type of stuff. So we have measures um, for stuff like that. Mecca, you guys in the class were still chasing your first win in this rivalry. How much do you feel like you guys in third years are really extra hungry because for some of you it's going to be your last chance? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're extra hungry. <laughs> How have you guys embraced playing on the road this year? Coach Day pointed the team he ran the board, the, the schedule, all the white spots. Like, how have you guys approached that this year playing on the road? Um, playing on the road is pretty much the same approach year in and year out. Um, you got to be able to run the ball on the road. You got to be able to play tough. You got to be able to stop the run um, and score touchdowns in the red zone. So the recipe never really changes. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. We, we, we've talked about it multiple times. You kind of get to go into a, a place where you're unwelcome and kind of embrace that um, and be the villain of that area um, and just be able to you know, silence the crowd by making big plays or whatever the case may be. Um, there's, there's something to that for sure. So um, just being able to embrace the environment and not let it shake you um, is something that's really, really big. Yeah, I can't talk about that today. Sorry about that. It's worth the effort. <laughs> Amanda, uh, you, we saw the one play, especially, it was like, I call it skinny post, but he just took off off the seam there on Saturday, took off off the seam on Saturday, and kind of got it to you. Was that, was that that moment when you felt the gas pedal was there? Yeah, I mean, 
when did you feel like you're back 100 percent close? Yeah, um, that was my best week of practice uh, leading up to the Minnesota game, um, and my coaches can confirm that I felt fast. I felt like I was flying around, um, you know, back to where I used to be. So um, that was really encouraging. So I was able to go out there on Saturday um, with more confidence than I have been. Um, so yeah, I've been feeling better and better each week. What's the biggest challenge about this defense y'all are going against? Obviously, last year they made some plays in the second half, especially. They got a few of those guys back, obviously. I mean, what, what is the biggest challenge about this defense in particular, given only nine points a game? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the biggest challenge uh, lies within ourselves, just making sure we're staying on track and staying consistent. Um, we feel like we have the best group in the nation, um, but when we don't play like that, and when we're playing, you know, all when we're you know off schedule or, or something like that, that's something we have to focus on.